So welcome to our next session. And we're going to start off with a talk about Chinese, a new, a new means of Chinese learning, um, improving Chinese language and culture proficiency using Nova Star Talk eTower. And let me introduce Dali Tan from Northern Virginia Community College. Um, and Dali will be introducing then her, her collaborators. So Dali. OK, uh, thank you. Um, uh, my name is Adali Tan, um, uh, World Language Department Chair and, um, uh, and a mentoring teacher. Um, uh, several years ago, three of my Northern Virginia Community College colleagues and I uh, created the, um, uh, this um, OER uh, with a, a grant uh, from StarTalk. Uh, it's an infrastructure, uh, infrastructure grant. And then after that, I'm fortunate enough to work with um, uh, many educators. Um, uh, three of them are here uh, who are using our open educational resources. Um, uh, one is uh, Zhen Wang as a Mandarin teacher um, from, uh, from Arizona. And then uh, Rui Huang um, also uh, taught um, in um, K-12 schools in Arizona, as well as Lei Wu, uh, who taught uh, in Florida uh, Millennium schools. So uh, let me uh, uh, take, uh, please uh, take it away. Yeah, they're going to share how they use uh, the uh, Nova ePower in their own classrooms. Thank you. Thank you, Dali. Thank you, Dali Laoshi. I'm really appreciate we have the chance to can share our eTower, uh, the Qingming Shanghe Tu. It's a really good means of the new way to learn Chinese. So today's presentation, we are going to divide into three parts. The first part, we want to share with uh, you guys like how we build up this, why, why we build up this uh, website and the kind of like a basic introduction about this and what is a way mean a new wings a new means to learn Chinese like what's a really difference and the second second part we are going to make it more details to to explain to you guys you some example about uh, what the tools you can use if you it's a it's a totally free website I need to say so like which topic you can use maybe in your classroom and the third one we are going to uh Wu Laoshi we are going to share with more details about her like a uh, first, uh, like a friend, like a first, uh, first hand experience in his uh, teaching, in his teaching, in his class. So let's begin. So I'm going to share with the first part, like why we build up this website. So I need to say, well, we have some like a Chinese character, but uh, with uh, the today's presentation, we're all talking about English. But if you just uh, just ignore the character, right, we can explain more details. So we need to say, um, as a language teacher. Uh, what we can find on the how we can best to uh, motivate the student to learning, I need to say that the interest. If the student have the interest to learning a language, they want to learn is, is more than a thousand words. You tell me, hey, you need to study, but why? Because they have interest to, to want to learn this language. So this is the basic reason why we want to build up this. Uh, from 20, uh, it's from 20, uh, 2010, in Shanghai, we have we have a brand new kind of like a pieces for the Qingming Shanghe Tu. That is a picture from the Qing uh, from Song Dynasty, and which were uh, uh, describe a people's live uh, people's life uh, in the Song Dynasty. Uh, we have uh, maybe we can show you guys the website how is the picture looks like. Dai Lao Shi, can you share them to let them have a basic understanding of what I'm talking about this picture? All the people living there, living in Song Dynasty, what they are doing, are they selling the stuff? They try to, uh, people maybe just, uh, some of them is for the, uh, uh, like a business. Some of them just uh, the uh, moderate people. So they are their life in the Song Dynasty. Yeah, I cannot uh, share my screen. Uh, so uh, uh, oh. please just uh, go, go ahead. Yeah. Mm 
You should be able to share your screen. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, uh, can you share this? Uh, can you see the screen now? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So, uh, basically, um, this is. Uh, you can uh, go to the uh, the modules. Uh, this is the module that uh, we have. Uh, uh, the build. Yeah. And so, uh, this is the. Uh, yeah, we have the animated, um, the ancient painting and to, uh, as a hook, uh, really uh, catch students' interest. Yeah, so as you can tell, we use technology to make the picture become alive. So all the characters, all the people in the picture can move and the student will feel so interested about, wow, what are they talking about? And then just based on that picture, we build up uh, 12 mode. Right now, uh, open one, we have one, two, three, four, and seven, eight, and then nine to 12. Some of uh, we have four mode, but the three of them are already open. So just the, uh, based on this, we became, uh, we built up this website. Now let's go back to, this is a kind of like why, what I want to share with you guys how it looks like. And now it's more details about what is Startup ePower. So as every time if you go into this website, you are say the 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 start the starter. So you need to begin from the, the first top. It is a online and interactive mode for learning Chinese language and culture. So why we added here is culture not only about the language, because as you can tell culture and the language are always talking together. We can't separate them. And uh, it's, it's a free open resource and the student can use this with, with their, with their self-paced mode, especially right now during the uh, uh, pandemics. We are doing online teaching and some teacher, it's so hard for the teacher to maybe control the students while they're learning together. Some of the advanced level student, maybe they can go faster. Some of the lower level standard student, they can have their own pace. So uh, what I need to say is not for passive learning. It's all from their self. Like, oh, I feel this is interest. This is a really interesting topic I want to learn. And also this interact with the four part, reading part, listening part, writing part, the speaking part. So in this way, it's all basic for the act for standard. So it's not only the reading the character, it's they have the interaction. Where students can record their voice and they also can try to speak with a sentence, can try to practice. And uh, they can re they can get their feedback in real time based on their own performance. So, for example, like I said, we have different mode, and we opened one um, uh, mode one to four is great grading. It's kind of like a Mandarin one two level, and for the higher level, they they you can go like mode nine to twelve. It's a transportation topic. It's what talking about what kind of transportation you can tell you can see from the picture. So we only locked one, we still build, a, we work on the mode five to eight, it's a shopping part. If we got more fundings, like a dialogue, she said, we will try to promote the website, we can, we can we will try to open as soon as possible. And uh, I want to save some time for the wow, so I go, I'll go faster. I want to say is, this is not only the basic level one, two, we all the way go to the IP, AP level. So it's just uh, always all the, topic, all the different modes begin with the vocabulary and then go to the sentence. And then look, you can tell all this is kind of like authentic materials. It's not only like you read a character, we will give them picture and then ask them what you can see from the picture. And then it will become a live picture. So it's, they will feel, oh, what I, what I can tell, what I can describe is become true, it's become alive. So this is a, why this website is, I think, is really attractive. And also we learn, we teach them some grammar point, but that, that is uh, some practice. And also <clears throat> we practice, we, we build some practice and like a practice six, what's the matter word used for the correct norm. And also we have, just after this study, we do, we do practice some, we do build up and make some practice for them for each single unit. And then is we also, uh, applied the comprehensible input in here. So we will use mode 12 transportation as an example dem demo. And uh, I think Wu Lao Shi will give you guys more details. Wu Lao Shi, is this your, can you just uh, elaborate more details? Thank you, Miss Wang. Uh, Tan Lao Shi, 
Oh. For the um, five or? Um, our, uh, our presentation uh, should end at um, uh, 4.45. So we still have, right. we, have, um, uh, we have six minutes left. Okay, thank you, Dr. Tan. Uh, could you please move to page 41, Dr. Tan? I will yes. do that for you. Okay, now we are right. going to focus on the sentence from Qingming Shanghao to what we can learn from it. Uh, first of all, I want to say is based on this picture, we can get as many sentences as we want to teach. Uh, yes, page 41, please. Uh, since we look at this picture, Qingming Shanghao Tu, you know, there is no Chinese words on this picture at all. But as teachers, we can imagine what can we teach to students from this picture. Yes, like this one. Um, so now I'm going to share an activity I did with my students about how should we learn and what should we learn from eTOR from this picture. Task one, uh, I told them to find 10 words from this picture and five words should be, they learned from before. They should write the characters on this picture, uh, maybe page 41, page 42, please. Uh, so they should find 10 words on this picture, five from what we learned before and five should be new words and they should write these 10 characters on this picture. The second task, I told them to do is imagine a conversation. Yes, like this. You can see 10 words on this picture. They already wrote on this picture. They can write on the paper I printed for them, or they can use the uh, real picture and write on the on the iPad. The second task I told them is to imagine a conversation between two people. You should imagine what will they talk in that conversation, in that situation and write them down in Chinese. The third task is they should finish a sentence, but the sentence I give them a scaffolding like, like this one. I tell them, I told them to write in this picture, there are something and something and something else. So I give them a like 50% sentence. I already gave them and they should feel another part of the sentence. The, Fourth task I give them is do um, investigation and they should introduce a cultural thing from this picture, such like this group, they introduced the bridge from this picture. So the last task I told them is to do, to do is combine task four and compare the Chinese and American cultures. So you will, you will see this group, they introduced the bridge between two countries and what, it, what do they look like and some backgrounds about it. And the next, next thing I want to share is about IPA. Yes, uh, <clears throat> among them, uh, we want to let them communicate and perform, in, and perform their language. So this part we focus on interpretive model interpersonal mode, inter, inter, uh, personal mode and the presentational mode. So there are five activities I give them, I give them actually. Activity one, they should focus on the keyword, such like this from eTOR, they should focus on the keyword, focus on the central idea, analyze something else. So there are nine activities about interpretation. The second part is about communication. I told them to do a speech, a discussion, a debate, and like a story show to communicate with their friends. The last part is focus on performance. So I told them to, yes, let's move on the last part. Uh, the last one, I told them to finish five activities. I actually, the first activity is they should make a comment on Qingming Shanghe Tu. The second one is they should make an explanation about Qingming Shanghe Tu if they are a tour guide. So they should write a tour guide passage about this picture. 
the third one is they should make a poster. So they design the poster about Qingming Shangatu. The number four activity is they should write an awards speech for Qingming Shanghatu if they are in a painting competition. And the last one is they should do a performance about this. And they will, they will use like the AR or VR apps to perform it, like making a, like make a, a, a video or a short movie. So that's I what think, I um, want to share. Uh, I think we use up our 15 minutes. But uh, thank you very much. But um, we're going to share our PPT with um, the conference organizer. <coughs> yeah, and then, uh, uh, yeah, you can always contact us. Yeah, we we'll prepare a suggestion like a Padlet. If you, if any like language teacher really uh, interested about talking more details about this website, please feel free to connect with us. We are try our best uh, with Tan Lao Shi to build this website uh, as perfect as possible. Thank you for giving us a chance to share in today. Okay, thank you very much, guys.